Tuscaloosa tornado on April 27, 2011, was an EF4 with winds of 190 miles per hour. It caused massive damage on the southern portions of downtown Tuscaloosa. And remarkably, it passed just a mile to the south of Bryant Denny Stadium. That begs the question what if the same thing were to happen on game day? The rain is now coming down in torrents. Sheets of it tumbling out of that thunderstorm. Bryant Denny Stadium is no stranger to large crowds. So, what would you do if you were in a stadium and severe weather was in the area? My first inclination would be to get my family and get underneath the, uh, the stadium, the stadium seating. Dr. Laura Myers of the University of Alabama's Center for Advanced Public Safety spoke with us about what exactly the university does to ensure all fans are kept safe. The problem is the numbers. There's so many people. And so what do you do with them? When do you do it? The way the University of Alabama does it is they use their public address system. Second down and seven. Allow people to know what's happening and what's coming. And so they're prepared before the game. They're told that if anything happens, that's the information that's going to come across. It's difficult to oversee state just how game-changing an event like April 27th was for the people of Alabama. April 27th created a whole new situation for the people of Alabama. They weren't sure what they were supposed to do with tornadoes of that strength. And so after the impacts and after the fatalities and injuries that were associated with it, a lot of buildings were built on the campus that now have huge shelters in them. So the presidential um, buildings over here are brand new, and they have one of the biggest shelters in them. Because seeking shelter within the stadium is not safe, Dr. Myers recommends using other sources for safety. Safety information. On game day, it's advertised as something that you may want to add to your phone. We also recommend the Algo traffic app. Um, we built that for Aldon, and that also has the weather warning information on it, and everybody can get the Algo traffic app. And of course, another great way to stay up to date with relevant severe weather information is by downloading the CBS 42 weather app on the App Store.